What are the biggest health problems facing America today? Thank you for asking, because to me, this is a really big deal. I had actually talked about it on the debate stage last year. First of all, I am for an improved Medicare for all. Improved meaning that we would have eyeglasses and uh, hearing aids and dental and mental health. However, we can't just treat the symptoms of disease. We have to talk about root causes. A lot of my policy decisions have to do with addressing root causes rather than just symptoms. We have the highest level of chronic illness of any advanced democracy. We have carcinogens allowed in our food that are not allowed in other advanced democracies, GMOs and so forth. We have chemicals in our pesticides. We have toxins in our air that so contribute uh, to people's sickness, not even to mention the fact that we have, you know, we have 18 million Americans who cannot afford the prescriptions that their doctors give them. We have 1.3 million Americans who are rationing their insulin and so forth. So we have a system completely held hostage by the institutionalized greed of the insurance companies and the um, uh, pharmaceutical companies. But once again, food, big ag, all those things have to do with the quality of our food, uh, the quality of things that we are ingesting. 46% uh, of the uh, urban water wells in the United States are filled with PFAS, these uh, chemicals. But there's one. So if somebody looks at my whole health plan on 2024.com, this is to me my favorite part of it. Most doctors in the United States were trained in a pharmaceutical model of Western medicine. Okay. Therefore, it is only reasonable to assume that after their diagnosis, their prescription will be along the line of pharmaceutical remedy, which in many cases is obviously appropriate. However, in my whole health plan, you go to the doctor, the doctor gives you a diagnosis, the doctor gives you a prescription. It is mandated by law in my plan that there is now a database. Whatever sickness or, or condition the doctor is speaking to, there will now be the data that um, that reflects any non-allopathic, non-pharmaceutical based remedy that is proven statistically to have anywhere near as efficacious a result. You are told about that. You are, it is, uh, it is uh, mandated by law. You will be told about that and your insurance will cover that as well.